we're back. Hey everyone. Welcome to a new day. We're on Masperon, the alien planet. Reforged Eden, Imperion, Galactic Survival. And we have a massive base attack going on right now. Like, massive. And we're just gonna leave the place for a minute. <laughs> By for a minute, I mean for a while. We're gonna go to the moon. We're gonna get some cobalt and some magnesium and some. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> and some titanium is on the moon. Um, yeah, I don't think they will hurt us at all. So, yeah, when we leave the field, they'll be all just chilling I guess I don't know we need to get some more defenses so we need to get some more advanced materials um, and actually I wanted to um, I want to put an LCD up here so I can actually see the entrance to the base here shoot for the moon if you miss at least you'll land somewhere amongst the stars eh as the old saying goes. I don't know what they're shooting at, because like the only thing they can hit is this door. Um, oh yeah, it's such a massive base attack, it's ridiculous. All of our constructors are back to their regular ways, I see. Hopefully there's no more glitches or anything. Um, so what we need is, we need some fuel. Let's make some fuel. We need to make food, I think. So let's make some food up. Yeah, cool. Those are already set up. Um, bandages, I guess so. I don't know how many of those can make. We'll make some of those and we will make some coffee and some teas and EVA. We need gold for that. It will just go the minute it's warm there when the light is on it, like in the daytime. Stay away from the night side, and it's all good. So yeah, I'm excited. We get to go to the moon, it'll be our first uh, venture out into space. Always have some blocks on you, just in case. Um, we'll need that, take that, why not? Something is falling, something. I, I swear they're trying to go through the entire mountain or something. Have fun, boys. Have fun. I basically started right from where we started off, so no more farm to be plucking yet. And, uh, yeah. To be continued, so here we are. Continued. I didn't do anything at all. Just, uh... We're just gonna ignore this base attack because it's ridiculous and we need some cobalt titanium to build some rocket launchers or something because it's just absolutely ridiculous. And then you get the, uh, that Geist Patrol out there too happening and it's just like, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna put this up so that we can see the exit slash entrance in the dark. Mm. I just need something to grab a hold of so I can click on the base. That should be good. Okay. Um... LCD projector, there we go. There we go. With that, that, and then we want set 90, I believe, and then we set 90. Let's check. Oh, yeah. Then we just need to bring it up. Um, two. Yeah. And um, over. One, right. 
die, am I? Oh, that's pretty big. Okay. And then, um... There, now we can see it in the daytime. Just a nice little grid. Huh. I don't know why they're hitting. Oh well. Let's um, put a light here too, why not? We got him. I just want to take all these dudes out it's so bad, but we're such a low level. Uh, okay. We'll have to figure out this whole base attack together because it's ridiculous. Uh, we've got food, we've got power, we've got oxygen. Make sure all this is done. We got some coffees and some Teas, in case we get too cold, some meat, some water, in case we get too hot, because on the daytime side it might be too hot. Um, bring that. Let's bring everything. Let's just bring everything. And then I'll turn off the base. It'll be all glorious. Everything that rots, anyways. Yeah, I guess we're all good. Just waiting on that meat. And then off to the moon. La Luna. Oh, really? Um, I don't need that much water. Okay, let's go. Let's check if everything's good. Yeah, we need to fix this stuff up. Bam, bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> Missing blocks and stuff. Oh, I don't need all this stuff on me. Okay. Um, this can go in our Azure Miner. Let's look at all this stuff. Blocks. We need his controller containers. There we go. Alrighty then. We're almost good to go. We're missing a light too over here. Huh. I've been uh, playing with the idea of uh, also doing a face reveal, so that, that should be good. Got a camera, um, lighting, all that good stuff, so we will be doing that at some point in the future. I'm not sure when yet. 
Should be fine. Should be fun and fine. <laughs> Make our baby sexy again. Fix it all up. We'll also hopefully get the um, effervescence in today too. Let's just uh, throw everything in there now. And, uh, um, okay. So we don't need that. So we'll that there. We just need uh, trees, I guess, for the carbon substrate. Working still. Oh. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bug that's been happening since the DLC came out. Just gotta keep on going back to it, I guess. So annoying. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Don't die while you're doing it. Let's go. I'm scared of forgetting something. All right, all right. To the moon. What is that? Oh, what the hell? Is there somebody in here? They're shooting through the friggin... Through the mountain. What is going on? Are they shooting through the mountain right now? Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm really curious as to what to do right now. Right? Like how are they how are they hitting us there? I have to go back. I just have to. Do we have <laughs> pink handgun? Okay, what the hell is going on here? They're shooting through what were they shooting through? Have they dug a hole? Have they actually dug a hole through here? Where are they shooting through? Here? Are they just shooting through walls now or what? Is this door closed? Yeah? What the hell? They're shooting through the rock? I'm so confused right now. Yeah, they're shooting through the rock. Like, really? Really? Uh, whatever, we're getting out of here. How can they shoot through rock? We're going. Are you ready? Because we're going. To the moon. Yeah, sure I did, bud. What's going on here? Like, I need to get rid of these guys first.
probably use your axe to drop too. There's that CV over there. That's not good. Assault your ex. Please make it back in time. Please don't be destroying my freaking SV. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need a turret. Ships with their turrets suck. Okay. Let's save and save. Oh. Oh well. To the moon! Ah. The wonderful depths of space. If there's anything good out here to get in his wreckages, but like, honestly, I don't think there is that much. I don't know. I'm worried that drones will get us if we do go for them. Maybe once we get the uh, effervescence. Effervescence and uh, like a turret that will auto, auto aim at stuff. We are going directly towards the moon, yeah. Don't see anything. I don't see a thing. But on the map it looks like we are. Yeah. Hmm. What's all out here actually for uh goodies? Um this one right just your usuals some cobalt ones though that's that should be good we will just get some cobalt and titanium from the moons and magnesium oh some pentaxid perhaps too um if we're going the right way wish i could see which way the moon was oh it's right there When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. You know what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down? Oh yeah. Let's uh, do this. and a cannon drone at that one. I think it shows the stuff after 500, yeah. I wonder what's... Oh, titanium, very small. Let's get some magnesium. Why not? I need to heal this ship a bit. Some beatings. Where'd it go?
There she blows, Captain. There she blows. Are we coming up from under underneath it or something? That's interesting. I love the color of magnesium more. Oh, white with little blue goodies. It looks good enough to eat. <laughs> Like chocolate mint ice cream or something. Or I guess not chocolate, but just like mint ice cream. I don't know. Or you know those ice creams with like the chiclet gum in it? Oh, chiclet gum ice cream. Bubble gum ice cream, that's what it's called. It's just so pretty. We should get it all too. We need lots of rockets. Lots of rockets. I want to put like, like, individual turrets around the base. But to do that, like, I mean, like the ones that are a base in and of themselves. But that would suck if we went out to one and got like three base attacks in a row on this setting. So I'm kind of scared to do that, to be honest. I think we got it all. 10% left, okay. Like, because CPU is a thing, right? And with those, you can individualize turrets and not go over CPU. So we might need to get some more CPU and whatnot. All an adventure. Survival of the fittest, yeah? Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so magnesium. Gats. We need the titanium and the cobalt for the CPU thing. As well as, I guess, the CPU for the effervescence because it has a basic level CPU. Titanium, very small. I wonder if there's just any smalls or mediums. I'll fight off a drone. I wonder how many. Xerox bases are actually on this moon. Large silicon. There's a shielded base right there. Stay away from that. Hmm. Are we in Xerox space? No. Um. Rocket drones. Sides. How far away from this thing? Oh, we're pretty far. So, what do you guys think of the new mic? It's tr making my voice sound spectacular. It's got some cool RGB going on, actually. You'll see it soon enough. I'm gonna get the camera going. Got a green screen. Make it all fancy and such, you know? There's a large iron. We could use a little iron actually. Because I'm gonna build a small construct, like one of those portable constructors. And then we'll make the cobalt here. If we can. I don't think we can actually, but. Here's to trying.
crashed Woken? Keskese? What's that? I've never seen that before. Hopefully I don't get too close to this base though. I don't want any rockets or lasers shooting at me. Okay, it's not even nowhere near it. What's a crashed woken? Sounds like an elvish thing or something. What is it? I'm not gonna have any. Are there drones coming out of the nowhere? Okay, let's uh check it out. Huh. It's like a ship. am I doing this? <laughs> Literally have a mining ship. Mm -hmm. Brain turn on please. I don't think this is worthwhile at all. Goodie box. What's in here? Nothing. No, I'm not in the fridge. Not in the fridge, please. What is door? Do I even have a light on right now? Yeah. It's just that dark. It's only minus one, you know? I think this is a CV or something. Bet you it has a lot of digging to do though. I don't really feel like doing that right now. Oh no, it just goes through. That's that. Elevator? It's an elevator? Yep, that's an elevator right there. That's what that is. It might be worthwhile, but this wasn't really part of the plan today, so let's go a little bit further and, you know? That's this, ooh, nice. Ooh, some waffles and some pie. Some waffles and some pie. Yeah, let's just, uh, what's this? Nothing. Eh. Maybe I'll come check it out. Another day. Let's just get our goodies. Our materials of the advanced versions. Advanced style. I guess it's not really advanced. Top tier. And what do you call them? Rare. Rare substances. Perhaps. Oh, what's that? What's that? It's glowy. It's glowy. What is it? An unidentified array. Is that too close to the thing? I wonder. We might just be able to get to that. If we go in from the far side. Yeehaw! Space adventures are us. I really don't want to get shot out of the sky right now. That would suck so much. Ooh! Oh, it's 
it's a uh, progenitor array. Why is this on the menu? That's bizarre. I ain't good using it. I really don't want to get a hit. Hmm. Let's drone it up. This is different. Is it? I remember this glowing square being in this array. Is that a loot box? No. It's like a small constructor. What? Is there any loot boxes in these? I don't think so. Nah. Huh. Oh, let's actually make sure we know where we're going. I don't want to get destroyed by that base. So I guess a base, some moon base is off the table if um, there's a drone base here. Oh, there's a couple. Don't mind if I do. We got a lot of iron from just quickly doing that. Wow. Mm. I don't know how much this baby can take. Weight-wise. I want to just fall out of the sky once we get it back to um, Maspero. This is only half the gravity of Maspero. Way to figure out whether you can handle it or not is like um, 10 meters per second would be good for like 1G and then 20 for 2G, 30 for 3G, and 40 for 4G. So if you ever want to be on a high gravity planet, then you can just tell by the gravity times 10, you know. Um, that's usually what I go by. So right now we can do mass run, I think. What is mass run to gravity, actually? Where are you, mass run? It is 0.93 Gs. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Now we need some titanium. Come on, baby! I'm gonna have to drop half of this cobalt or something. Actually, I'm gonna make one of those constructors, portable constructors, right now. And then, um, I'm just gonna leave it on the moon. And, uh, leave whatever we can't get. What? Why does that got that? It's bizarre. There's a lot of messed up stuff happening since the DLC. It happens when you use uh, mods, I guess. They have to get all caught up to stuff.
At least there's two small ones. Very small. I can move this stuff. I'm just gonna drop some of this cobalt in the constructor now. I don't know why it's got that graphic on it, like it's half done. It's weird. Okay. Then we won't need to come here and mine, we'll just come here and pick stuff up. Grab the, both the titanium and um, yeah, I think that's already showing on the map. Um, constructor, yeah, sure, why not? And we'll always know we have one. Am I right at the titanium, actually? Yeah! Get some! Diggity diggity! <laughs> Instead of giggity giggity, you know? The last little bit. Yeah! Get some! Okay, let's get out of here. How much titanium we got? I mean, it's... Um, yeah, let's go grab the other one. Oh! Glad I made the front of this out of steel. It's a lot better than just Cargo extensions. I think they only have like 50 hit points on them. The cargo extensions. Repair, holy crap. <laughs> we lost a block. Oh no. Did I get to the stuff? Oh, nice. Lovely, tell you, Mom. Pretty heavy right now. I mean, I know we can do it on this gravity, but like, we're gonna fall out of the sky basically. That's why I put the LCD at the entrance so we can find it way easier of the base. Because I don't want to be messing around with hardly being able to fly on that gravity. And there could be another base attack when we get back, or who knows. Who knows? Better be prepared than not, right? Better to have it not need it than need it not have it, as they said on in the Alien movie with the pistol. We'll give her our all so we can know not move at all and then we'll just put the rest in that portable constructor leave it here let's have a pickup location on the moon <laughs> so happy there's titanium on the moon usually you have to like warp to a cold planet the starting thing. Maybe that's an alien planet only thing. Okay, we're good. Let's just get out here. Figure out a way to fix 
victory. Come on now. I hope we're going up. <laughs> it seems like we are since the change of the soil. Let's check. Oh. Oh. Come on. Um, I think we are kind of going up more to the side than up. Now we're going up. Oh, I see the stars. I see the stars. Oh yeah. Okay, where's our little portable constructor? Our first venture out into the unknown. Oh, snap. We need oxygen in this bad boy. If we need it. Yes, we can. There's not very many o much oxygen can fit in there. Snack. I was thinking the other day if any of you ever played RimWorld, there's this thing where you have to be sitting in a table to eat. It's like uh, that Stranded Alien and Dawn, but it's the. Like, it's been around for years, and they just kind of copied it with Stranded Alien Dawn and turned it into 3D. But um, yeah, with it, like you get a, a penalty for not eating, for eating without a table. And I was thinking that would be really cool in this game, like if you could have like mood, and you can like make it up or down depending. And I guess depending on what whether your mood is good or not, you could have like better, um, slower like food, like hunger and all that stuff. And so like a mood debuff would be like, you can't eat without a table. That would be funny, I think. Have to set down a little picnic table <laughs> whenever you want to eat. Um, but then you need to keep a base <laughs> core around, I guess. Oh, no, you don't. Aren't there, like, bases that people have made that they take the core off after they've saved them, and then you can just place it wherever, and it doesn't have a core or anything? I've seen that. I think you can do that. Okay. I think we're good. leave that here. Homeward bound. Okay, I'll uh, get back to y'all when we're getting close to the atmosphere. Look how beautiful it is. I wonder why I can't see the atmosphere. It's really like a pink ball almost. A dark pink ball. Are you serious right now? Okay. That's a different one. Okay. Is that the CV over there? Entrance? Oh, nice. Super bright now. Wonder 
Bar. Actually, we should go to Wood Junior. Let's drop off our stuff here. Um, let's get this stuff melting down. Tidbits out of there. I need some fuel, actually, don't I, for the... Oh, nice, okay. We need it for the chainsaw. Okay, there we go. Get some wood. Nice daytime, which was awesome. Look at all these white little globules here. Another thing that's better about having a turret instead of a static weapon on your SV, it looks out for you while you're getting stuff. I hate having static weapons on like an SV like this, but it's cheaper on the CPU. So what are you gonna do? Actually, let's, uh, do that. Get a bunch. Ooh, the globules. Oh yeah, just fall right into. You. I think I heard something. There's a queen thing shooting at us. A big butt alien. gonna hide on the tree, huh? Oh, no, you're dead. You're dead. Nice. Yeah, we need some meat, actually, too, so that's good. Four meat out of her. That's a good one, I think. Tell you what, Bobby. whole crap ton of this good good wood wood yeah. um, any globules love me some globules as long as there's no s oh oh there's our food right there I guess we'll just take it out with this bad boy family. Actually, tastes like. Uh, it's so weird thinking about alien meat, you know? And how it must taste. Me 
minty. Maybe it tastes minty. Maybe you couldn't even perceive its taste. That's how crazy that could be. You might not even be able to perceive it. It must it might taste like nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because your your taste buds wouldn't be able to perceive it. If it's all like different genetic material and molecules you've never actually interacted with. It's so crazy to think about. Because your tongue has like a lot of sensors on it, right? But they're sensors that you have interacted with or like the human species has interacted with through like hundreds of thousands of years. Oh, we gotta stay away from that guy. But like, you might not even be able to like taste it. It might it taste like absolutely nothing because it's completely different. Like, genre of molecule. Oh shit, he's turning around, isn't he? How far away is he? Can't even tell. So that's a good sign, I guess. Maybe. Or he's turning around right to us. And I shouldn't be going this close to him. Where's our little entrance? Is that it? Yeah. Just go right for that bad boy. Oh yeah. I'd love to put an artillery cannon on this base, but I need like uh, Zeskos human and all that good stuff first. I need to put like a sensor here if this isn't gonna open for my SV. Like that's bizarre. All right, back at home, home base. I think we were quite successful. Okay, we got wood, we got all sorts of goodies, 160 wood, that's nice, that's nice, why am I putting this in the fridge though? Um, Deconstructor would be nice to take those apart. I think that can all just stay there. Excellent. Okay. Let's get some uh, carbon substrate going. We have lots of fat, we have lots of wood. Pink gun. I wonder if that uh, dude is still out here. I think we're gonna have to build a medical thing too. That would be good. Got the cobalt for it. Right there was like a combat robot or something out here for it. Oh, look at you guys. Oh, beautiful land. do that. I gotta build like a CV base or something. I think just out in the, the swamp I think would be the best place to do it. Just clear it land. And then we could just like, yeah like the whole swamp right to the water and I, I think that would be good. We gotta start thinking bigger now. Getting the CV out. I have so many starter CVs to choose from. I'm thinking about making a new one though. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think uh, if you've checked out my my um, workshop. If you think we should just go with one of my starter CVs, or whether I should create a whole new one for this scenario. Let me know. If not. I'll just, uh, I'll think about it and it'll be a surprise, a nice little surprise. 
next time. We still need to get the uh, effervescence in. Which I want to build a, uh, a hanger through here and out to there. I'm going to build a hanger. So I'll build the hanger and then, I don't know, I'll show you it next episode. Do a really quick, like, um, sped up version of uh, building it. And then we'll drop the effervescence because we're good now. We've got all the goodies now. 100% we've got enough for it. And I think I'll leave you here. Yeah, I know I was going to say that we'll do the effervescence today, but I would like to have a hangar first. Because I think it's a little bit too big to be driving through here. And I'd like to fill all this in, too. With, I don't know, I wanted this to be like a furnace and de de deconstructor. And then I'm going to use one of those, like, blocks with the circle in it. And then go through here, out to the, to the a hangar out there. I think that would be good. So, until next time, have a good one. See y'all.